and we're live. Ask FM. Yo. The 2-2. Two, two. The Desmond. It's a pleasure yeah, it's to be with you. The Archbishop. The Archbishop. And we're joined by our very own Bishop, the Diagonal Wonder, Sean Rodriguez. Yes, straight from straight from Newcastle. Newcastle to to Wales. Oh yeah. We're going diagonally across the map. <laughs> Bishop style, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good thing about bishops. Uh, you, you know, if the chessboard was bigger, the bishop can cover that. It doesn't matter how big the chessboard is; the that bishop is, can cover it. Cool. Yeah, it's got it's got range. It's I like it. Yeah, it's probably I like it a lot because it's like a sniper. Mm. Well, it's not because <laughs> it shoots diagonally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, sort of snap, you snap people from angles. <laughs> no, normally where you're sort of aiming, sort of straight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know what I mean. You, you, you be, you, you, you move one pawn. Your bishop is sniping down mm. your opponents. It could be, it could be your opponents like flipping rook. You know, yeah. it, it's got that threat from afar. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I think I'm. I think I'd be. Uh, what would I be? Well, there's certain there's certain ones I can't be. I can't be a pawn. There's too many. Yeah. I also. Only one. Maybe I could be like a king. Like the whole thing fucking falls without me. Damn dog. But ultimately, quite useless. But also important. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you could um, you could you could you could really do a lot or very little as a king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think king, I think king works. I mean, look, if I can't call myself a king on my own radio show, what was it all about? What is it all about? Yeah, man, just get, just, yeah, just get off the airway. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a song after that. I'm glad we decided. Uh, what kind of, what kind of chess pieces we are <laughs> yeah uh, we're actually experimenting with a new system where I I play the songs from my phone <laughs> no 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 uh, that, that like still <laughs> it'll still come through the, the old laptop oh, okay. but I'm oh, okay. basically using my phone as a remote <laughs> Right, right. It's not like the back of a bus style. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that is exactly what I was thinking. Of. I mean, if we did that, you could hear the music as well. But but all I'm yeah. all I'm gonna say is, uh, this is, uh, this is hard to explain by the Strokes. Ooh. You can hear that, but that was fucking crispy, Sean. Yeah, man. So we figured out a way to talk while the music's playing without being up. Um, not really. We also haven't figured out how to shut you up while the music's playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, how are we going to... Maybe if we, like... Maybe if we get uh, a second of a call. Right. Both meet each other whilst the song is playing. Because I bet they're not enjoying this stuff by this chance. I'll call you, I'll call you. Yeah, yeah.
make it look easy, easy, easy. I make it look easy. Yo, <laughs> hello. Uh, oh shit! Wait, let me let me switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, switch, switch. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, why can't I hear myself? Hello. You're listening to Oscar FM. Uh, <laughs> where's Sean? Can Sean hear me? Is this any? Is it all? Is it working? Can you hear me? Hey, there you are. <laughs> hey, I think I just have to. I can't be because I'm doing it off my phone. But you okay. just have to keep on, on the other thing. Uh, yeah, to, on to, the special setup we've got. To clue in the audience here, we're we're trying to figure out multiple things at the same time, also whilst being <laughs> on air. Number one, the main problem being it's hard to communicate. It's actually easier to communicate while sort of being live on on the mic. Um, so we've got like two calls going on. Yeah. Um, two calls on one phone. That's maximum efficiency. It's like front. It's like on the record, off the record. Mm-hmm. I mean, I have revealed Damn. what we were talking about off the record, but. Shit, man. Yeah, what are you what are you feeling for today's show? What sort of angle do you think we should uh, go for? I'm feeling feeling like uh, I don't know. I mean, there's football happening right now. There's Chelsea are playing right now. I've got it on a big screen. Chelsea versus Luton live at the Bridge, yeah, and also I'm, live on Oscar FM twenty two. Uh, yeah. Tune in on Oscar FM to watch Chelsea versus Luton. To watch a lot. We're streaming the game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're not. I'm, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, I'm big invested in Chelsea this week. I've got I've got Nicholas Jackson and Gusto in the FBL, man. Same, man. We've got the same, we've got the same boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. We were talking about this last night. I think this could be the most football-heavy Oscar FM that has ever, ever Ooh. happened. Should we try it? Should we lean into it? Or, you know, I mean, I think the proposal was, this is Oscar FM, football is back edition. I think we should lean into it. And then if, if we find ourselves getting bored by ourselves, then imagine by yeah. listeners. But yeah, I, think, those... I, I think we're just putting the, putting the warning out there. This could be quite football-heavy. But me and Sean... I've got quite a good way of talking about football. We're not yeah, like those not fucking like those neeks that are like, oh, so do you really support Chelsea? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you won't, you won't see this, but I've got a little, um, what's it called? Like a, uh, oh fuck, what's it called? Like, like the, like the menu for YouTube, uh, the picture, the YouTube picture. Yeah. What's that called? Like the, the play symbol. No, like like you're about to click on a YouTube video, but you see it through the thumbnail. 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 thumbnail right. Oh, the, the preview. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got I've got a picture of Ivan Tony, on there. Yeah. Yeah. Our sort of cerebral god. <sighs> Man, he's he's just he's driving everything. He's he's really he's that he's the guy the man of the moment. He's like he's the cog in a one cog machine. Yeah. He's like the the yeah. cog. <laughs> Without him, the, the machine doesn't work. I don't know what the machine does. There's but... nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he, he is. Yeah. He's like. He's like. Um. Yeah. He's. He's just. He's. He's. He's everything. He's. He's within yeah. us all. As an element of Tony. Yeah. I've, I had an idea earlier, and I think I'm gonna. I think you're gonna play play it now. It's not a song; it's a yeah. game. Um, uh, oh. Let's play a game of what would Tony do? <laughs> 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 so, so here's the first setup. So Ivan Tony is walking down this street, and um, he needs to get to the other side of the road to uh, to meet his boy. And it's. Uh, there are some there are some traffic lights. What does Tony do? 
Um, he are we doing A, B, or C, or are we just coming up with scenarios? I think we I think we come up with a couple of scenarios, and then we we decide which one is which one Tony would do. Yeah, I think um, I think he a I think he doesn't cross the road and he keeps walking because he saw a William Hill just up ahead. Yeah, he is known to known to like William Hill. Um, yeah. William Hill's William Hill's number one customer. Okay, how do we feel about uh, Ivan Tony uh, doesn't cross the road but hails down a car, sort of hitchhiking style, and says, "Oh, mm. mate, could you take me over there?" And the the car <laughs> sort of pulls a one eighty and transports him to the other side of the road, and then he meets up with his boy. Shit, man, that's that's very that's. I could see that happening for him. I could see him also. Uh, I could see him also just, you know, haphazardly just dashing across the road. Shit. You know, sprinting. No. Yeah, <laughs> just like you know. not, not enough people sprint across the road because surely it's the safest way of crossing the road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just if you need to cross, do it as quickly as possible. Exactly. So that the cars don't see you. Or like moseying on along, like yeah, yeah, do it as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna just, you know, yeah. I mean, don't wait for the pedestrian sign. Just, just dash. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, it's the sponsorship. Um, Let's go. Somebody I was talking to the other day uh, described it as jaywalking. In real, like, mm. I've never heard anyone describe it as jaywalking. Before. So American. It's so American, and they weren't American. Uh, it was quite, it was quite eye-opening. Anyway, that was yeah. uh, that was what would Tony do? And Chelsea have it in the box. Oh, oh! We almost scored. We almost scored. Oh shit! Man. Fancy a song? Or should we yeah, just keep it, keep yeah. them locked in? Yeah, let's let's do a song. Let's do a song. Yeah, you got any you got any ideas for songs, or should I keep it keep keep it on the playlist? I mean, they did hear a mm. little sneak peek of a song. <laughs> yeah, let's not give it to them. Let's give them something completely different. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. How about? Yeah, how am I gonna how am I gonna do this song? You're gonna sort of um, you're gonna tell me and I'm gonna play it. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little song. I kind of think this this also could be I want this to be the most reckless Oscar FM ever. Yes. I want this um, I want them to want to put restrictions on future Oscar FMs because of this episode. Yes. Put us on a leash. That's yeah, there that's you go. For you then. Yeah. All right. This is um. All right. To be to be to clarify what this edition is about. It's football is back slash baseline is also back. <laughs> baseline is back. Where did baseline go? Baseline. Uh, people said it was gone. Baseline's not. Back. So it's back and better than ever. So I'm typing track twenty two. <laughs> oh yeah, pale face. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And this is to track twenty two. Pale face. Do you mind? Crazy cousins remix. The sound of bass line oh, too.
So track 22, Paleface D Mind Crazy Cousins Remix, the sound of Baseline 2, CD3. Nobody does yeah. like the Ministry of Sound. <laughs> so, um, so tell me about the history of Baseline. Shit, dog. <laughs> I mean, oh, you're always bagging on about it. Um, no. I know <laughs> nothing about Baseline. I know five tunes. I know five Baseline tunes. I'm sure we could probably work it out, though. Like the history. Yeah. Yeah, it's like flipping. It's like it's kind of like lick. It's somewhere in between like Liquid DMB and flipping Organ House and all of that stuff. Kind of. There's like a flipping a hundred different electronic genres, and they're all pretty close together. I just felt I feel like they're all they're all just slightly different. Exactly, yeah. You know? It's yeah, like, like, like what the hell is niche? What the hell is niche? Niche baseline, that's what that that's a whole type of baseline. I don't know, I feel like you gotta get rid of like you can't get rid of the drums because that's been done. You can't get rid of the You can't make it slower, you can't make it faster. Literally every avenue has been done. Exactly. Well, you know, you s speed things up, that's nightcore. You slow things down, that's slowed. <laughs> hey, man. I think, um, but I, I quite like Chopped and Screwed. I'm, I'm down with Chopped and Screwed. This is actually a uh, world exclusive, but me and my mate, Orion... We're working. We're collaborating on a on a chopped and screwed channel. No way. Yeah, he's yeah. he's chopping and screwing some music, and I'm making music videos for him. And, Are you uh, actually? Yeah, I've been working on it this week. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Uh, no way. Yeah, uh, that's a world no, exclusive. I... It's gonna be sick. No way, because I was I fucking love chopped and screwed. I'll chop and screw anything. I was literally thinking you should. It would be great. To do an Osk FM chop and you just chop and screw it. Just chopped. <laughs> just, yeah. That'd be funny. That'd I'll, be so sick. I think, especially chopping and screwing the the, the talking bits. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. I think that'd be really good. Yeah. There's something about chopping and screwing. It's the best genre ever. There's also like in the language of it, like chop, I mean, sort of. Chop and chop and dice, or like chop and blitz, chop and screw yeah. are two words that you'd sort of put together often. Exactly, RP DJ screw. 
Is that is that the is that the guy? Is that the hookup? Yeah, that's the originator. And DJ Chop. Who can forget about him? <laughs> I think it I think it was just DJ Screw. He was chopping and screwing. He did he could do it both. That's what they always said. He did both. He did both. That's quite funny how I mean obviously rest in peace, DJ Screw. But um but that's sort of like um DJ Bass pioneered the drum and bass scene. <laughs> mm. Where's DJ Drum? Yeah, where's DJ Drum? That's definitely gonna have a look for DJ Drum. <laughs> DJ Drum. <laughs> DJ DJ guitar on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh we've got DJ Rum. Oh DJ Drum, he's a guy. Fourteen monthly listeners. So we're giving yeah. him his big break? The big break, the world radio exclusive DJ John. So he's got, all right, he's got three songs. I'm going to give you the power <laughs> to pick which one is going to be the banger. So he's got Sound of the Past, Radio Edit, Sound of the Past, Extended Mix, or Slow Techno, Drum Edit. Ooh. Well, we're on radio, so it's only right we play the radio and edit. Go for the radio edit. Okay, this cool. is... How you wanted us to hear it. The world, world exclusive. As God intended. Sound of the past. You're listening to DJ Drum. do 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 Chelsea have scored. Oh. Chelsea have scored. DJ Drum with uh, Sound of the Past, the radio edit. And you know what? 
that was really, really good. And not in a patronising way. In like a... That kind of hit the spot. That's kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I wish I could hear it, because I tried to find it. And it's only on Spotify, so... People get over on Spotify and show show DJ Drum some love. Yeah. Go, go, give him a listen. I want to bump up his numbers. DJ Drum, yeah. man. Maybe we could get him on Oscar FM one day. Ooh, maybe. I mean, I would love to get a sort of, you know, an outsider. Like, uh, yeah. only allow basically people I know <laughs> on. Yeah. But, you you know, want... DJ Drum would be great. I mean, imagine if flipping, you know, BBC Radio was just a bunch of people who were all mates with each other. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it'd still be good, though. You know? <laughs> That'd be mental, you know? But they sort of know, I, I guess the point is they sort of know each other once they start talking. Yeah. Imagine if it was just a, just a boys club. That'd yeah. be fucked up. No, but Oscar Fem isn't like a boys' club. It's like, uh, it's no. like, uh, you know, I play all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, but I am we bound. Don't give I am bound by my uh, by my phone book. My phone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Shit, Chelsea. Man. Chelsea scored uh, during DJ Drum. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe that's a sign. Keep playing. Keep them coming, man. Man, keep more drums going. If all I'm saying is, if if we can see that we need a goal in the last in the last minute, I am gonna play DJ Drum again. Yeah, that's fair. And I've also made the yeah. discovery that Sean Sean has got the match going on as well. So so I think we can do some sort of radio radio commentary. Yeah, yeah. Just if you're watching Sky Sports right now and you're sick of Jamie Carragher. Just give, give him a mute and load up Oscar FM. Yeah, and we can guide you through this game. If you're watching on catch up, um, just sort of go to. We're on about two twenty one minutes forty seconds at the moment. Um, yeah, it looks like Goose. Oh right, on the yeah, of course. Yeah, because in the future we will be live commentating every Premier League game, <laughs> even Saturday ones. Yeah, man, Goldbridge style. Even the Saturday exactly. ones. All of them at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. That's the kind of plans that we come up with. That we we just love in to our promise. spare time. Yeah. Just in our spare time we just think about commentating Premier League games. It's just what we do. But you you want commentary for the friendlies? Yeah, we got you. We got you. Yeah. I mean I know everyone's looking forward to the uh the Super Cup. Or that happened? Mm. No, that's just happened. No, that happened. Yeah, it happened. Well, there's, there's always next year. <laughs> yeah, the Super Cup. The who highlight you, of the season. Who do you think is going to win the Super Cup next year? Oh, shit. Um, God damn. I think, um, I think, you know, whoever wins the Champions League, they've got a good chance of making it to the Super Cup. Yeah. Famously, I think a hundred percent of play uh, teams that have uh, won the Champions League have made an appearance in the Super Cup. That's a good stat. Yeah. Also, the players, the players that have played for the team, uh, have also played in the Super Cup. Crazy, bro. See, this is the kind of stuff you don't hear on Sky Sports. No, nah, they're, they're they're afraid to drop that kind of knowledge. They're afraid of the backlash. Yeah, well, I kind of bunch think... of people pleasers. Yeah, it's bogged down by that information. We're not worried yeah. about that here. Uh, we, we're not we're not burdened by our industry relationships. We say what we we say what needs to be said. What do you think of this Luton squad? I know nothing about them. I've heard that. Well, you said that they're quite tough, like physically tough. Yeah. Yeah, I describe um, them as sort of attacking in a pack. Like dog like. Mm. Fly like on a or wasp like around a can of coke. <laughs> Shit man. Yeah, I'm um I don't know what to expect from them. I, I 
Yeah. I'm not really invested in them, to be honest. I quite, I wouldn't mind. I don't know, actually. I, I was going to say, I wouldn't mind them staying up, but I don't really know that. Well, you might think you might not know any players, but how does the name oh. Ross oh. Barkley sound? Yes, of course. Ross of course. Barkley has made a big return to the Premier League against his old club. Old club. Ex Chelsea. Ex Chelsea, you know, a hot shot. I mean, I wouldn't even give him like a like a, an adjective to the sort of player he was. <laughs> I think <laughs> I just got him as ex Chelsea player. <laughs> yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, how far he's fallen? Hey man, he's he's in the prem. He was he played for uh, Nice, I think. Yeah, I don't know if he was any good though. No. Well, he got signed by Luton, which either means he was very good or maybe not. Okay, how does um, Tahith Chong sound? The guy used to play oh, for Man yeah. United? Yeah, that's, that's something. Yeah, I've always, you know, I've always kept tabs on him. And who's this on the bench? Um, Tim Krul. Uh, still... You have to, He's still done. You have to respect him, Cruel. You have to. Yeah, he's um he pioneered that uh, you know that dog like nature. Well not pioneered, but he's he's definitely a dog in goal. He's got some sort of yeah, he's definitely got some sort of dog within him. However I Yeah, that penalty shootout, man. But I'm more I mean, yeah, me me and Sean were discussing um in a penalty shootout once he wrote down all the information about the opposition's penalty kicks on a water bottle. Yeah. Which is which is meant to oh. oh. chance for the number nine losers. Oh. So, is that? No, it's I not. thought that would have been lost. That's not lost, Barkley. No, it would have, it, it would have gone out of play. <laughs> 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 um, but, but I more think Tim Cruel is like... He's t- he's almost too sneaky to be a dog. He's like the Riddler. Uh, he's a cat. He's a cat. Yeah, he's he's a cat sort of, you know, doing laps with the tail up back and forth on the on the goal line. Distracting mm. you. Maybe like a maybe like a lurcher dog. I think they could be quite sneaky. A lurcher dog? What is that? The lurch is like uh kinda like a greyhound. Damn. Yeah. Sneaky. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> is going I was in... No no, I was just uh I was just watching the game. <laughs> Taken in by football. You got lost. Okay, so the options are water, energy drink, or Magnus. I feel that How about Magnus sort of... energy drink? Well, mix it. Yeah, how about... I mean... How about I drink the water so I've got a vessel, so I've got a free water bottle, and then make a deadly mix of Magnus and uh, Monsters... Uh, monster Energy, the Doctor... Yes. Or is that the flavour? The yeah, Doctor. The Doctor. Oh, you'll love this. What? Have you ever heard of um shit, what's he called? Have you ever heard of MotoGP champion Valentino Rossi? Yeah. Okay, well have, have, I? You, have you? <laughs> I yeah. was expecting the Noah return there, but it's cool. Very oh, shit. You gotta respect it. Uh he made a a a drink for, with Monster. Oh, what what does a what does a motorbike champion know about being a doctor? I think that was his nickname, but that's quite oh, good, okay. and it's also in like a sort of cheeky, cheeky font. Oh, cheeky, huh? Which isn't What's really what you want. Oh, it's cheeky. It's kind of well. <laughs> <laughs> firstly, all the all the letters are in different colours. <laughs> oh, that's. Uh-huh. And then it's it's 
the the actual font is similar to something you'd see out of the Beano. Mm. And you know, it's just like different shapes. It's just oh, it's just quite different. cheeky. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um I have I've got the you know, I've got one of those um windows that opens two ways. Yeah. You've got the you've got the it can sort of open classic like a window, um, with the the hinge at the bottom, so the top gets revealed. Uh-huh. But then if you sort yeah. of, if you do some tinkering, it can open like a door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen those. So I've got that. That's actually quite a large window as well, not to show off. Um, so I've got it in door mode open at the moment, and um, you know it's lively out there. It is lively out there. So I will apologise for any sort of uh, foley sounds. Oh, well, what's going on? Look, there are trains. I'm very close to the train line. It's a, it's a fun fact about yeah. me. Um, there may be some, like, birds. <laughs> it's like wildlife. Um, just a typical Friday night. Yeah, it was it was raining quite heavily early, and I thought, you know what, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect for the show. Way, yeah, yeah. Gusto just skied it. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, you know, I'm not. What? I'm not trying to be a hater. You know, he's 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 um he's kind of been proven my point. Hmm. But I'm I'm happy to be proved wrong, especially because I've got him in fantasy. Even though I said I wasn't against it all, but yeah, you made a very advanced take. You you were you kept yeah. on talking about how rubbish he was. Yeah. And then at the end of the conversation, you you were saying, "Oh yeah, so he's going to be in my team." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which which yeah, man, I like surprises. I like to be proved wrong. You're sort of, I, I, feel like... Like, I feel like you're almost playing mind games with him. With you? No, not with me, with him. Yeah, yeah. I was watching a well, Marco... Like I'm, I'm, I'm nagging him. Yeah, you're sort of like saying, oh, yeah, you're absolutely rubbish. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, you're Prove not going to do anything. Yeah. Watch. Exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch you. Yeah. Look, I'll even on, start you at my 11. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, do something, sucker. I was watching a Marco Pierre White when he uh, when he returned to cooking in uh, Hell's oh, Kitchen, and there were a bunch of celebs that were his like you know kitchen chef chef team. Yeah, and he just managed to sort of in like the introduction he managed to play everyone. There were like so many different techniques. He was like he was asking the boxer like, oh, "Are you ready for a fight? Because this is going to be a <laughs> this is going to be a fight in the kitchen." You ready for that? <laughs> so the box was like, yeah. And then to like to like a lady, he was like, what's your name? And she says, that she goes to say her name. He's like, oh, I've heard of you. Next. I'm like, wow. Mm. There's many different ways to motivate someone. You, I mean, I feel like most of them are being rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like... Um... I know, maybe it's because, you know, celebrities, they don't really get that as often because they're like, oh, everyone's everyone's got to be nice to me. So, you know, when they get a bit of that, they're like, yes, this wasn't missing. (laughs) Oh, I missed missed the days when nobody knew who I was. (laughs) Maybe that's what what it's like. Maybe they do. I miss when everyone thought I was just a waste, man. Maybe... No offense, maybe DJ Drum is sort of, you know, his lower profile. Maybe people like that. Hey man, you know that's the thing. That's it's a it's a common complaint by fans of you know more underground musicians. They're like, ah, oh, it's gonna suck when when TikTok finds this song. You know, mm. uh, here before TikTok. I feel, uh, like, I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's a very fan centric because the only one who's sort of damaged there is the fan like the, the yeah. artists are getting some bag for that exactly. hopefully exactly. yeah you know you know what I always so hear 
you know what I always hear um, celebrities complain about is being asked for photos when they're eating food. Yeah. Which they they all complain about it, and it must be so annoying. But like, surely there's a way around this. Surely there's like some sort of solution. Mm, yeah, like um, I don't know. Like you, it could just be like a private dining. But then it's like you know, you don't want to have to do that every time you go out to eat. Like, why are we sitting in a room by ourselves? <laughs> yeah, you the know? vibe is dead. There's nobody yeah, exactly. here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like why do you always take me to these like really dark, empty rooms and apparently they're really yeah. good? <laughs> yeah. You know what the point is. But then maybe it's like they're like um they're like really like like things like Nobu and stuff are really popular with rich people. Because they're like they just seem really cold and, you know, interior. You know, they're not like kind of jolly, you know, outdoor seat, loads of outdoor seating type restaurants. They're like super like, yeah, we're rich and you can't see what's inside. Yeah. And there must be yeah. like, I mean, unless it's sort of a, you know, celeb on celeb sort of pestering. Yeah. <laughs> celeb on celeb. <laughs> You know, you, you wouldn't want that because, like, surely they know that the most annoying thing is being asked to take a photo whilst munching some mashed potato or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it was like, you know, if Mike Tyson comes up to you and you're a celeb and asks for a photo while you're eating, would you say no? Well, yeah, but, that, but that's exactly what we're talking about. I mean... But uh, if it's Mike Tyson coming up to you would i say no if he wants to take a picture with me and what what am Why i you? am i a celebrity yeah what? yeah 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 you're your oscar fan okay so i'm still me but like let's say yeah this is no no, really... no, the, no the, the hypothetical was if you're a celebrity and like mike tyson came up and asked you for a photo while you're eating would you say no yeah, I want to know what kind of celebrity I am. Though. I think that's going to inform my my decision. Am I like a boxer, or am I like a am I like a chef? Am I, like I mean, a... you could be a chef, yeah, chef. Yeah, I'm a chef. I think I might. I think I might, but it, it, I'd make what sure. Would be like... Sorry, Mike. Uh... Sorry, Mike. I'm munching on this uh, mashed potato. <laughs> Um, I think I would, but there'd be under the terms that I made it. It was very clear that Mike Tyson is the one taking the selfie. I you would, would say yes. I would say yes. I think. Yeah, yeah. I thought you you would say no. That's why I was like, well, well, um, yeah. But it's a tricky one because because nobody's asked me for a picture when I'm when I'm munching on some mashed potato. So I don't actually know how annoying this is. I think it would be extremely annoying. Are you saying Especially no? if it was like multiple No, no, that's the that's the thing. I would say no to a lot, but probably not to Mike Tyson. Are you saying no to Alan Titchmarsh? Yeah. Are you saying no to Ross Barkley? No, no. Well, so you so you say yes. Yeah, because I, but because that's more because it's like, oh shit, it's Ross Ross Barkley wants to have a photo with me. <laughs> yeah, the former Chelsea player Ross Barkley. For the former Chelsea player Ross Barkley. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's 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 all getting a bit confusing. I wouldn't. I guess the thing is. You know, would celebrities? Yeah, that's that's the thing. I guess we're interrogating. Is it as annoying if it's someone you rate coming up to you for a photo? Would you be pissed or would you be like, ah, I am eating, but you are sick, so let's do it. I think you're onto something here. I really do because I think what celebrities need to do is do it back. 
to people oh to regular people <laughs> they need oh. to do it back because then yeah, people will yeah. know yeah because they're like oh yeah you want a photo with me right now put down your fork come on <laughs> let's have a photo yeah <laughs> yeah if they just did it to everyone maybe people would love exactly. it but maybe they wouldn't yeah that's, no. our, that's our advice for a celebrity yeah just just be proactive uh, earlier you mentioned uh, a teen at what got big on TikTok. And I'm not sure if this song... I mean, I found it on TikTok. So uh, this is this is Pressure by Rushy. Rushy? How do you spell that? Uh, Rush with a Y. Pressure. I don't feel pressure. No. Send a text on the chat line, give out some testers, then back to my leisure. Yeah. I got bro to the end card, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. Jenna. I ain't got no gun, but if I cop that dots, bury it like treasure. Hey. Born in the east side, could have been a daily offender, crazy extender. Hey. Might see me in the west with the gunners, or see me with K, he like Arsene Wenger. True. Big spender, thought you was a spender, done all the spending, the spending stop. Uh -huh. Think of the man, come to the block, can't take out your chain when your shit get popped. No, I can't mini really rock on my block, I hit so many shots on my block, I sit my head. He don't need the walk, got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. No art can't mini really rock on my block. I hit so many shots on my block. I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. Hey, cats keep calling my phone, man, leave me alone, I'm grinding I woke up this morning smiling, haters trying to bring me down, I don't know why Niggas out here still in the floor, trying to keep it on the low, for they did it on the sly Stepped in the function with a bottle of Henny and the Crow, and I did it for the vibe Push back and I did it with the guys, done it with the green, bro, did it with the rice Done it with the text, bro, done it with the rest, sold everyone a dream and I did it with a lie Little man, you don't want to live this life, outside with your kitchen knife Till things get hot on the block and this shit goes left, all you need is advice How's man talk about pressure? I don't feel pressure. Send a text on the chat line, give out some testers, then back to my leisure. I got bro to the end card, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. I ain't got no gun, but if I cop that dots, bury it like treasure. Hey, born in the east side, could have been a daily offender, crazy extender. Might see me in the west with the gunners, or see me with K, he like Arsene Wenger. Big spender, thought you was a spender, done all the spending, the spending stop. Think of the man, come to the block, can't take out your chain when your shit get popped. No art can't really rock on my block, I hit so many shots on my Block. I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. Maybe play a keyboard song. <laughs> Bro, we are uh, we're reloading the thing. Screw. Alright, we're back in. Jack em. Juke em. I don't feel pressure. Send a text on the chat line, give out some testers, then back to my leisure. I got bro to the end card, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. I ain't got no gun, but if I cop that dots, bury it like treasure. Hey, born in the east side, could have been a daily offender, crazy extender. Might see me in the west with the gunners, or see me with K, he like Arsene Wenger. Big spender, thought you was a spender, done all the spending, the spending stop. Think of the man, come to the block, can't take out your chain when your shit get popped. No art can't really rock on my block, I hit so many shots on my block, I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. No art can't really rock on my block. I hit so many shots on my block. I sit my henny, don't need the walk. Got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. Hey, cats keep calling my phone, man. Leave me alone, I'm grinding. I woke up this morning smiling, haters trying to bring me down. I don't know why. Niggas out here still in the floor trying to keep it on the low, for they did it on the sly. 
Stepped in the function with a bottle of Henny and the Crow and I did it for the vibes. Pushed back and I did it with the guys. Done it with the green, bro, did it with the rice. Done it with the text, bro, done it with the rest. Sold everyone a dream and I did it with a lie. Little man, you don't wanna live this life. Outside with your kitchen knife. Till things get hot on the block and this shit goes left, all you need is advice. How's man talk about pressure? I don't feel pressure. Send a text on the chat line, give out some testers, then back to my leisure. I got bro to the end card, that's my brother, that's my brother, that's my brother. I ain't got no gun, but if I cop that dots, bury it like treasure. Ayy, born in the east side, could have been a daily offender, crazy extender. You might see me in the west with the gunners, or see me with K, he like Arsene Wenger. Big spender, thought he was a spender, done all the spending, the spending stop. Thinking a man, come to the block, can't take out your chain when your shit get popped. No art can't really rock on my block, I hit so many shots on my block. I sit on my henny, don't need the walk, got cats like Wonder Mad for the rock. Pressure. Ain't been around for a while, but it's calm, cause the crowd go mad when I enter. Still break down bricks like Jenga. Chop that, chop that. That was Pressure. Pressure. Found that on TikTok. Uh, found that on the Jose Mourinho TikTok. And mm. it's pretty good. I don't mind it. I did play it twice. And that wasn't just because it was a short song and me and Sean were talking about something. It's actually quite a good song. Mm, it is. Yeah, man. I've, um, I've been trying to get into Dave. I've, I've been trying. Yeah. You've been trying, it's not been working. It's just hard when somebody has songs that are just so, so big. Because obviously I've heard them so many times that I'm just going to think that they're the bangers. Yeah, I th- I find it, Dave hard to listen to a lot as well, actually. And it's definitely the same thing, right? Yeah, it's the big ones. I'll just listen to them because they're... I like them already, and I just I don't I don't I don't know. It's also like sometimes his delivery is hard to you know invest yourself and like sit through some songs for a bit when he's being more monotonous. Mm. What do you think about uh, storytelling in rap? Oh shit! Two balls on the pitch. Sorry. <laughs> what What do you think about storytelling in rap? I think um, I don't know. There's like, it's it's sometimes it is fun to listen to. Like I do, I do like some, uh, I do like some, you know, like more something with a like a theme going on, or you know, something with a bit of like a coherent subject. But it depends. Like um, I think. Uh, you know, I think the Migos, they got good stories, you know? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they, sort of, yeah, they're more little stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like a little story, you know? It doesn't have to be a big, long thing about, you know, your life and then, not, you know, sometimes it's cool, but it doesn't always have to be like that. It's not, that's not the sole definition of a storytelling rap for me. You know, I like a little story about, uh, oh, it could be a... Uh, flipping a, a con a, a brick you know it could be a story about a, a trap house <laughs> you know the, 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 it's a wide range of subjects yeah it could be about a, a lady or yeah or a man or uh, or it could be <laughs> it could be about a car <laughs> yeah, I've heard that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> me in the car. <laughs> Shit. There's a, there's. I'm tempted to play it. There's an amazing song by Plan B, which, it. I think. Right. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you to, to load up a song and we'll listen to it together. And then we'll come and talk about it. Right. Let me just find I... it. Yeah. Um, oh, shit. Is it this? I think it might be Charmaine. The first day I saw her was that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's Charmaine. Charmaine, my <laughs> plan B. Let me know when you got it ready and then I'll play it for the folks at home. 
Hope you're enjoying right. Let's Go Fan. I've got it right. You got it. Okay, this is this is one of the most the boldest stance, the boldest story I've heard. Um, a rapper ever sing. So yeah, this is Charmaine by Plan B. I'm playing it now. Train station, she was half black, half Caucasian. At first, Joe, I thought she was Asian, but as I get a bit closer, her origin is blatant. The best of both worlds, caramel complexion. I swear when she smiled, it almost got an erection. Piercing green eyes that shine like emeralds. Once she gave me the wink, could only think with my genitals. She tells me her name as soon as I approach her. It's Charmaine, Charmaine de la Rosa. I say, is that Spanish? She says, yeah, I say kosher. Whole time imagining what it'd be like to dose her. Train pulls up when we get on it together. Duration of the journey, get to know each other better. We exchange numbers and agree to meet afterwards. She blows me a kiss and with that, we party. Phone credit later. I don't just want to juice this girl now, I want to date her. She's got a great personality and sense of humor. Next time we meet, it just can't come any sooner. We arrange to go out for a drink at a bar. She's already there when I arrive and she looks the part. Even more stunning, I remember. Fuck it, drop dead gorgeous. Her ass is tight and her breasts are bloody enormous. Hand in hand, we walk over to the dorm and he's got a big shiny head, so he looks like George Foreman. He lets her through and asks me for ID. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about, man? I'm 19. I whip my driver's license out and he lets me in. Then I trip over a step, how embarrassing. Charmaine witnesses it all but pretends not to see. I feel like a fool. She just thinks it's sweet. From the little hiccup at the start, it's all gone grand. Whenever guys try to chirp, she shows them the hand. Turns down and we dance, saying I'm her man. We get a cab back to my place where we get it on. I take off my shirt, she strips right down to the thong. I marvel at her body, voluptuous curves. She's a real woman, no doubt about it. Her confidence is sky high. She's the one who's got me on my back. She's saying, Baby, this is your night. I'm like, All right, it's worth a go, I suppose. So we switch roles and she takes full control. She starts slow. Grinding me softly While I was kissing Yeah, she's doing me properly That's when I start thinking Man, this girl's gotta be From out of this world or something Because she's shocking me Never felt like this before This was more than sex Sex was something that you had with skets Something the next day you regret With a girl you wish you'd never met Nah, ah, no way, man This had to be love I couldn't believe I was saying it But that's what it was Like a leaf in the autumn I had fallen After that, nothing else seemed important Jungle, get out of my mind, my love. To hear my predicament, my catch 22. I love this girl, but now I have to cut her loose. I was talking to one of my boys the very next day, and I told him all about me and Charmaine. He looks at me in a very strange way and asks me if Della Rosa is a surname, if she's mixed race and her eyes are green. I say, Yeah, he replies, Blood, that girl's 14. That was Charmaine by Plan B. One of the most bizarre songs. What the fuck? <laughs> I wish I could go back in time and hear that for the first time. Well, how would you make the song? <laughs> he, he wrote that. He he sang it in the booth. <laughs> yeah, man. Why on earth would you just put that out there? Uh, I mean, like, what was the uh, what was the reason? Was it like, you know, what was it? Yeah, was it like, damn, you you never know. <laughs> yeah, there's what... not really like a a conclusion. 
Cause yeah, cause it's like the moral the moralizing part wasn't there. It was literally just well, she's fourteen, and then it finishes. Bulls- and he spent the the whole song just raving about <laughs> our looks, and then the 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 quick moral dose was just at the end, and it was like, oh, it's over. Yeah, cut that off. And- yeah, also, the shit. hook is just like. Oh, I'm not even going to sing it. We all, we all heard it. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. So yeah, I, you know, after that, I'm, sometimes the stories just <laughs> don't need to be. Yeah, just you just know, no story. Keep the story to yourself. Yeah, some, keep them in. They don't all need to be over bars or or don't over need to beats. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I've, um, if we, yeah, there's a lot of rubbish stories that people talk about. Like, um, shit, man. Like, uh, I mean, there's good ones as well. I like, I, like, I mean, that Biz Marquis song's a, a great example yeah, of a good story. That's a great story. Yeah. Um, what else? I mean, um, OG Mako. He's a great storyteller. OG yeah. Mako. I just found 12 bricks. Woo! <laughs> Sitting on the side of the road. <laughs> we're just going you know, to sing you know, the maybe, songs we like maybe, on a radio show. Maybe we should play, maybe we should, um, we should play that and just uh, to kind of purge the listeners from yeah. that bizarre story with a, with a good story, like the OG okay. Mako one. Yeah, we'll have a little mint, a mint from Mako. Palette cleanser, yeah. Yeah, palette cleanser. Yeah. Um, this is 12 Bricks by OG Maka. Yeah. Hey. Hey. 12. 12. 12. Whoa. I just found 12 Bricks. Damn. Damn. Looking on the side. Looking on the side. Other road. There it go. There it go. 12 Bricks. Whoa. Then I'll make a flow. Then I'll make a flow. Gotta make a count. Gotta get it. Oh my God, oh my God, what the fuck? I'ma do with that. I'ma do with that. Twelve bricks. Twelve bricks. It's twelve after me. Fuck. Can't let them catch me. Fuck em, fuck em. Can't be another number. Fuck it, fuck it. Can't get another fumble. No. So fuck niggas, just fumble. Woo! Twelve bricks. Twelve bricks. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Chop it, chop it. Take them to the trap, got a good one. Came in plastic wrap, got a split. Twelve bricks. In one lick. In one lick. On the side of Ross. On the side of Ross. Twelve bricks. We just rapping, bro. We just rapping, bro. We just rapping. Wahoo! One lick. Yeah, yeah. Twelve bricks. Twelve bricks. Church. Wahoo! Yeah, yeah. Damn it. What we got here? What we got here? Shut up, shop here. Shut up, shop here. They took a loss. Fuck them, yeah. Made myself a boss. Had to run it up. Had to run it up. Hey! Had to double hey. cup his hot tech in it. Sip it, sip it, sip it. Whoa! Twelve bricks, they'll make you rich. They'll make you wealthy. You can get it, but you gotta keep it stuffy if they find out. Shooters all outside of your house. <laughs> Over 12 bricks. Over 12 bricks. Whoa. In one lick. 12 bricks. Find them on the road. Find them on the road. Wrap them in the go. Wrap them in the go. 12 bricks. In 12 bricks. In one lick. In one lick. Then I had to go. Then I went to go. 12 cents behind me. Motherfucker, fucker. Players keep on flashing. Got the 30 on me. I'm my blessing. Go, go, go. Oh no, I'm thinking crazy cause I got them on my One offender One inside door, two inside door One outside the passenger Two inside of the trunk Did you add it up? I didn't add it up Throwing them out of the window I can't throw fast enough And it's 12 bricks For one lick Found them on the road Had to make them go Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him.
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. OG Mako. What a trooper. What a legend. Mm. There's one thing extremely well, and that sounds sick as fuck. Wild. And he and he tells stories, you know. So um, yeah. But yeah, we we like that song. So next <laughs> we have a uh, we have another world exclusive. This is actually the second or oh, third, the third world exclusive on Ask FM wow. on a show which was gonna be us waffling Lucky about football. Ducks. I know. Look, look, look at you! You're getting three world exclusives in one show. And um, we have an interview with Shit. a legend of Newcastle, one of the most legendary figures of the Newcastle scene in the world. We yeah. have we have a live interview with the Arches. Oh, oh, shit. Hello? Is it, are you there? The Arches? Hello everyone, it's me, the Arches. Oh my gosh, it's the Arches. The Arches is no here. No way. No way. How the, do you make it? Where are you, where are you, where are you calling in from? Oh wow, uh, the, the thing with the Arches is that the Wi-Fi is pretty ropey. Let me just, um, uh, Arches, are you there? Yo, where, is he there? Where, where's he at? Nice to hear you go. I'm actually calling in from Newcastle at the moment. Damn, nice bro, I'm, not, you I'm not hearing any arches. You're not hearing any arches, actually. <laughs> You're not hearing any arches, man. Shit, dog. No, I can, I can, I can hear him. But uh, oh, it's, it's not just in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? No, no, no. <laughs> Do you have any, uh, any questions for the arches? Yeah, yeah. If you could ask the Arches, you know, um, how, what's he been up to this summer? Um, yes. Oh, guess that's what the Arches got to say about that one. Uh, the Arches said yes. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me ask the Arches again. Hey, Arches, what have you been up to this summer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, dog. You know, uh, For real? Watching people stay in the sun. Can you not hear the arches? I'm not hearing any arches, but you know. Oh man, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cancel this interview. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> There's, no, there should be a way. No, actually, actually, okay, yeah, we're gonna make some minor adjustments and um. We're just gonna pipe the arches into my into my ears, so um, yeah, the arches has just told me that it's mainly been been kind of you know standing, sort of being under the archways. It's been very sunny, so not been too popular under the archways, but it's been all right. It's been all right. Shit, man. Well, you know, I'm glad to hear you're still you're still there. Still standing. Yeah, the arches informs me that there's there's no plans um, of a demolition. There's no plans of a restructure or blocking off the archways. That's anytime. that's good because I've I've been hearing a lot of changes going on elsewhere in the campus. I mean, could you ask the arches their opinion on uh, the the plans to build a Wellsmith? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I thought that too. Okay, this is what the Arches thinks. The Arches doesn't like change. And, you know, Luther's had its bad points. However, the Arches feels that Weatherspoons has, has more bad points than Luther's. Yeah, yeah, no. 
That's what I'm saying. You know, I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. I mean, you know, maybe you know your respected voice on the campus. Maybe you could. Maybe you could. You know, you could do something. I mean, know? the arches never really wants to put his head above the parapet, even though it doesn't have a head. But it's you know whether the arches named after arches whereas weather yeah. spoons is named after a s- spoons and the weather who yeah who who even yeah what tim weatherspoon i mean yeah people are people are always <laughs> tim weatherspoon <laughs> yeah <laughs> who's, who's that <laughs> i mean people are always complaining about spoons and nobody's got anything positive to say about the weather either so We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to, we'll have to, you know, ask the archers in the future what he thinks about Weatherspoons. Maybe we can get this line working a bit better. Yeah, yeah. The archers will be back. Yeah, the archers will return. Mm. We've got a, we've got a hotline. Yeah. Damn right. We've got a. Yeah, we've got a direct line straight to the archers. Damn, you know, you know, we. We did that shit in the boiler house. I think it was over two weeks ago now. Right. Over two weeks. Yeah, I think so. Maybe. I can't even remember. It was like the start of the start of August, or <laughs> I can't. In the remember. boiler house. Yeah. Sometime in the summer, we did we did that shit. Yeah, it's all a bit of a blur. Hmm for real you know i think um yeah i wonder what they i I bet they they haven't had anything as live as that this summer in the boiler house since you know no other event has been held in the boiler house that has equaled the levels of hype that's my opinion yeah i I can't think of anything that was that yeah maybe like a fashion show got pretty got pretty lively maybe Mm. yeah yeah, I'm. Um, I don't really. How do you feel about fashion shows? I, 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 I. To be honest, I don't really understand. I can't. You know, it's like trying to watch a sport that you're not. That you that you've never really watched before. I can't really get a read on it. Mm. I feel like watching fashion shows for me is like how. It's like how some people watch flipping UFC. Or like and cricket. Like, what? Yeah, they're like, who's who's the who's the guy we're rooting for? That's how I think. I think I generally, I think generally everyone's rooting for everyone, but but it does make me want to sort of uh, know more about like clothes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, it's like, you know, why is that good, mm. and why is that bad? They they look, you know, I'm not saying they look the same, but they look equally wacky. <laughs> But you know, and that's the thing. Oh, it is blaming... oh fuck! Yeah, Conor Gall. No, that was Chilwell. Yeah. Chilwell got into a big position there. He could have, um, he could have easily squared it to Raheem in the box, um, or he could have actually. He should have actually shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. He should have pulled the trigger there. That's he should. Fine. No, he should have. He should have shot. That was. Oh, Jackson. Ooh. Oh shit, I'm behind. Was he onside? He was onside. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, no goal. I'm afraid. Uh, uh, um... Come on, Jackson. What do you think about Pink Floyd? I, I'm, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, expose myself a bit. I don't think I've, I've listened to much Pink Floyd ever. I think that's cool. I think that's fine. I don't know, man. I think I should, I should at least once. Yeah, I mean, if if you're fucking with baseline, and yeah. and Migos. And me- 
then I would say that maybe Pink Floyd doesn't really fit into that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I, I just always, I always think about Pink Floyd. What about them? Well, I, I like, I like the songs when they get going. I like mm-hmm. the sort of drop, if you like. But there's a lot of fucking bullshit before. They just like right. real slow, taking their time. You know, it's like it's like they're wasting time. Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I like that's what I like about the Migos. They don't waste time. They say the the title of the song within the first thirty seconds. Yeah, that's what I like about them. I'm pretty sure in, in certain Pink Floyd songs, they don't even say the name of the title. Man, what's up with that? How do you come? What's the name got to do with the song if they don't say the name? Exactly. In like, the did, song. It, did it get cut? <laughs> Bro, they've got a song yeah. called Shine On You Crazy Diamond. You might have heard mm. of it. Um, yeah. And basically it doesn't get, it doesn't start kicking off until part two of the song, which is at the end of the album. And the first path is at the start of the album. What? So if you listen to it like chronologically or like as it was released, you, you're waiting a sweet like forty minutes there, mate, for the drop. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dog. But I, but I, the reason why I brought it up is that I found um, a band that's basically done a cover of Pink Floyd. Oh shit! Oh, wait. I, I might want to, you know, pull. Jackson again. He's getting, you know, he's getting, he's getting shots off. It just needs a clear cut chance. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see him one on one against the. Guy. Yeah, for sure. Catch him on the break. Just uh, that's what he's good for. He's fast and direct, man. <laughs> but if you ask, uh, yeah, if you ask Pink Floyd what he's up, what he's good for, uh, they'd say absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, that's a reference to one of their songs. Um, <laughs> oh, is that a segue? Yeah, they say, um, what's it? I think it's, yeah, war. Huh. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the drop of that one. Um, The reason why I'm stalling for time is because my phone sort of just reset. Anyway, right, here we go. Where is it? Okay, yeah. So this is Time by Music Factory, which is a cover of a Pink Floyd song. And you're listening to Oscar Them.
Hello, <laughs> that was Time by The Music Factory. Um, just had to do a quick emergency stop on the old song, so Sean will be with us shortly. I just feel like it's got a, you know, they've got a bit of a chirpy attitude to them, the old Music Factory. They're sort of, they're happy to be there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, what, what do you think about that? The music factory tune. Yeah. I couldn't hear it. I tried to search it on YouTube, but then it was not coming up. Yeah, it, might, it might be another Spotify exclusive. I heard they signed a big deal with Spotify Music Factory. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the music factory, DJ Drum, they're just taking all the big artists. All the big artists, big name artists, they're taking them. Listen, they're like, you know, they're, they're moving like the Saudis. Mm. Oh, you want to see Neymar play, or you've got to watch our shitty league? What um, what sort of oh, a go TV on, channel? Go on, Nikki. <laughs> what TV channel could you see the Saudi league going to? Oh man, they, I mean, it wouldn't be BN because they're not cool with each other. No, Saudi, Qatar, shit, um. No. I mean, what are they? They must be on something right now. Maybe they're. <laughs> are they on the. No, the, the zone isn't a TV channel. Imagine if, you know. <laughs> you know what? I could see them going to BBC. Whoa. I really? think that's the kind of fucked move they, they are going to make. Getting on the BBC. But no, because the, the, that wouldn't be allowed. Why? Well, but no, how would that work? Because the BBC, you like barely... I don't know, they'd have to give the Saudis money. See, I don't, to, think, to the, I don't think the Saudis are bothered about getting that much money in. Right. I think they're more giving. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I wonder what, they're on, what channel they're on right now. Because where to watch Saudi Brody? Maybe like TNT Sports? Yeah. Like them. Ooh. Close chance. How to watch it. Oh, no way. I watch it on a Dizone subscription. <laughs> it's actually Dizone. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Wait, wait, hold on. No, wait, wait. Is, um... Who owns Dizone? Uh, who Eddie made Her Eddie Hearn? Wait, no... It's not Matrium. Is that not Matrium? Oh no, I think they did a they did some kind of merger or something. Who owns the zone? The zone? It's like an American thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because <laughs> I was thinking, what? Imagine if Eddie Hearn somehow just got just came back on top by just having the Saudi League. You know, because cause he's always trying to get fights in Saudi. You got that Joshua oh. fight in Saudi. Yeah. You know, Eddie Hearn, you know, it's very impressive that he kind of did what his dad did 
but he's done it for boxing. But if I was Barry Hearn, yeah, I would be slightly annoyed that my son has kind of picked a slightly cooler pre- profession, like well, doing it. Barry Hearn. So Barry Hearn was basically like the agent for snooker. Oh shit! Yeah, when snooker got really popular, Barry Hearn basically owned or like it was the agent of all the you know your Jimmy Whites. Damn. Yeah. Whereas Barry Hearn has basically done the same thing, but for boxing. So Eddie, it, yeah, it's Eddie doing that. It, yeah, yeah. But it says it says on the old Wikipedia that he's also Barry also got into boxing. Did he? He had he had Eubank and Ben and Lennox. He was promoting them at some point. Oh wow! Lennox Lewis. Oh, yeah, looks like, sure. we got a little, uh, looks like we got a little fact checker amongst our ranks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, normally, no. normally I'm able to uh, spread whatever misinformation I, I please, but <laughs> hey, no, man, this normally is, it's short this on the call. <laughs> this is a misinformation free radio show. How many of those exist these days? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, Anything yeah, else just... you'd like to correct? <laughs> Um, actually, <laughs> actually, it's the zone that that own the rights for the Saudi league at the moment. Not Eddie Hearn. Not the BBC. <laughs> <laughs> actually, the BBC can't broadcast the Saudi league. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, keeping me in check. <laughs> hey man, someone's got to. Someone's got to. We got the ref yes, here. No, no. What was that touch? I know. That I was saw that. That was horrendous. It was really good from Jackson. Yeah, that he was great. Just, oh. It was still one nil. We're in the sixty-fifth minute of the uh, of the Chelsea game. Just sort of holding on, but you know, we do not want to see Luton score. We do not want to see Ross Barkley uh, score a worldie. That's not what we want. Should we uh should we play another game of what would Tony do? Hello? Bit sick of it. Oh, hello. Uh oh. Hey man, I Wait. can hear you now. Oh yeah. You know I'm I'm fucking with the football at the moment. Yeah, I think it's quite Go exciting. On, yeah. I hope you're enjoying it at home. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know. I kind of uh, got a bit sick of it at the end of last season. Mm. And I also, I didn't really watch any other teams apart from Arsenal and maybe like a City game here and there. Um, but um, like, I, I just, I can't, I'm really interested by Chelsea because everyone's got a flipping project these days. Mm. But they're just fucking, what... What are they doing? Yeah, there's uh, there's some very rogue moves being made. Yeah, you want to see that? Just everyone, like you were saying yesterday, like flipping Newcastle, they got their takeover, mm-hmm. and they're just acting so prudent. It's just like, what do you get a takeover for? Just do some reckless shit. Yeah, they're just like buying good, simple players. Just get Neymar on loan from the Saudi league. Yeah, exactly. Get, they... get Jao Felix. Oh, exactly. Get flipping. God damn, like fucking. I don't know. Someone like oh. from a different. League. Oh, oh! Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say anything. I'll be with you in about twenty-five seconds. <laughs> you know. Oh. Not another Gusto assist to Sterling. Shit. Shit, dog. Yeah, man. Maybe he is good. <laughs> Maybe my picking worked. Yeah, I, th- I literally, I think you've motivated him. I think you've done it. Maybe me putting him a third pick on the bench worked. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it worked. Oh, no. Really? He's third yeah. pick? I mean, look, because, like... If you're going to choose between playing Jackson or Gusto of for the game, you're going to play Jackson. It's a no-brainer. God damn. 
I mean, that. Let's see. Let's look at it again here. I mean, that was just a really good cross. Yeah. Look, projects. You know, they've they've built it. They've built a project, yeah. and it's it's all clicking. Yeah. Well, you know what? I just like. Um, I don't know. Why does everyone have to try and be so smart these days? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> flipping City, just like flipping signing the right players, just sign the wrong players. Yeah, I think I think it's the That's... best thing about about football is that the the stakes are so high, but people still find a way of fucking it up almost on a weekly basis basis. Mm. Yeah, that's what's good about it. Like, um, yeah, I want to see some, I don't know, I feel like that's probably what made me lose a bit of interest last season, just seeing so many well-oiled machines. Mm. Yeah, that's all like machines, man. I think I think there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of potential in like you know not watching the good teams you know like if you were just watching Arsenal and City that could get incredibly boring. Of course, of course. It's uh, I'm complaining about like I'm this is the most like first world footballing problems. It's like ah, <laughs> oh, the, 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 every football game I watch is just so good. <laughs> Yeah, it's too it's too wow. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but um, yeah. often the, the best football's in your head. Oh I've got I've, I've started a, I've started a new player <laughs> career mode. And um oh, yeah. I am a Dharma Traore. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the That's Wolves squad. Saying. With the wolf spot for so the yeah, wolf everything. You got anyone you know, anyone fancy watching an absolute stink of a game? Tune into Wolves Everton tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's on at three o'clock on the Saturday. <laughs> it doesn't get worse than that. I think it's gonna be a banger. That's my prediction. I, I, that's my hot take. A dog fight. A dog fight. That's what we that's what um that's my point. Is I want to see a few dog fights. Yeah, yeah. What would Tony do? Mm. So he just he'd, he'd bet on the dog to win. He'd bet on the he'd bet on the dog, as in the underdog, because <laughs> they have the best dogs. I think he I think he'd be one of those guys that bet both ways. Oh, how how far off was that? It looks alright. It looks right. looked decent. that looked that looked that was so close to being in. That looked like it was just shy of top bins. Okay. Right. Oh, Ivan Tony is fishing. On a boat. <laughs> no way. Is he actually? <laughs> no, no, this is another this is another thought experiment about Ivan oh, Tony. Right, yeah. Ivan Tony is fishing on a boat and um Yeah. And then he sees a dodgy cloud and, and his his co pilot, who else isn't doing anything? Eden Hazard. They're both on a fishing trip because, you know, they've got some time to kill. Eden Hazard goes, oh, there's a cloud over there. And it looks quite scary and it's heading towards us. Ivan, yeah. what should we do? He, no, he says, he says, fuck it, and keeps going. Mm. He's not the type, he's not a queer. No. You can't, you can't ban the snowman. You can't stop him. The snowman? Can't ban the snowman. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you can't ban the snowman. Hey man. What? <laughs> Is that a saying? It kind of. Are people banning snowmen? We were trying to ban the snowman Who? at one point in time. The government. <laughs> <laughs> trying to trying to ban, to no, ban the snowman. snowman. It's is young Jeezy, aka the snowman. Oh, okay. And he had a whole yeah, his whole thing at one point was can't ban the snowman. Because he's just because the government tried to ban him in some way. Okay, this is making more sense now. Yeah. Yeah, no, that yeah, that's that's a bit of a uh a tenuous reference, but 
I, I just I just said it. I don't know. No, you. I mean, it, it reminded me of one time when you said, uh, "You got to pay the piper." <laughs> 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 like, yeah, that's like, the, but that's a common phrase. That's a cut more common phrase. Yeah, well, it might be more common, but I've, I've never heard it in my life. <laughs> well, okay, the, yeah, the piper's got to get paid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I remember saying something to Leo the other day when we were in Hustlers, and he was like, "Have you, have you, have you talked to Oscar recently?" Because me and Oscar, Oscar was saying that the other night. It was like, I can't remember what the phrase was there. Uh, was but, uh, like sniff it out or something. No. <laughs> what? That, that, that was probably towards the towards the yes. degree show. Yeah, Jackson. Jackson's just scored to make it three. Goal! Goal, 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 goal. Oh, so good. He's there. It's He's quite everywhere. Deep. It's really vindicate, vindicating to know that you've watched a football game and taken away the right messages. Like, mm-hmm. I watched them lose against West Ham, and I was like, you know what? Sterling looked good, and Jackson, he was he, he had some good things going too. And you know what? They, they did some stuff now. You've got the eye. You're, you're basically a scout. That's what I'm saying. Look, we're, because, you know, we're big in on, on the players that are not, you know, not on the up at the moment. They're not up right now, but they've got potential. Mm-hmm. Raheem, Adama, Tony. If there was some way we could we could take our vision and market that, you know, to the footballing world, they'd pay top dollar for that. Big you know, that's kind of an ID. I mean, I mean, I feel like I've got so many projects going but a project i would love to do is make an make an fpl like tips account yeah just like with some rogue tips yeah i mean you know forget fpl just start writing scout reports send them to all the big clubs they're always (laughs) looking for players you know january transfer window is a few months away yeah we start sending emails now yeah. Who knows? Look, have, have you guys considered signing Ivan Tony? <laughs> you know, he's he's had some issues, but his underlying stats are very promising. I mean, what underlying... I wouldn't even know where to start with finding underlying stats. So it's, you know, it's the eye test. It's the stuff you can't quantify. It's the dog. It's, it's the sort the, of imaginary numbers. It's the vim. It's the it's the chest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's the vapors. It's you know? something it's, yeah. you, you can't. I was, I was talking to my mate about. Like, he was basically calling me out on why I only rate bad footballers, and and I was just saying, look, you can't expect me to only respect good footballers. Yeah, and I was really. I, I'm, and I'll I'll stand by that. Mm. So yeah, maybe maybe I write a couple of scout reports. You know, un- unquantifiable qualities. You know, un. You know, it's about quantifying them. Yeah, it's about putting a number on something that can't be counted. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, what you can do? Fact check it? Nope. Can't yeah, man. It. Can't do it. <laughs> I mean, shit, dog. You, yeah, what are you gonna say? He's not. He's not like. He's not got the heart of a fucking tiger. <laughs> How are you gonna measure that? <laughs> How are you gonna share? Well, you're not gonna say his heart doesn't beat oh. blue. <laughs> yeah. You, know, yeah. you got. You got yeah. to pay the piper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you know, you can't match a stone, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'll refer you back to my first point. Uh, you, you can't ban the snowman. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play a song. This is this is getting a bit. This is getting a bit loopy. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You've gone up a while. All right. What are we, but... what are we feeling? Oh, some people recommended some songs actually. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get him. 
you, you know, let's get the viewer rec- listener recommendations going. Okay, no? this is um this is I Don't by DJ Assault and Craig Diamonds. What? What? Big team, uh, big team. I'm not quite sure it worked for the for the job that we were needed, sort of bring us down to earth. If anything, it might have mm. sent us out further. Yeah, we're charged up. But maybe the maybe the teetotal vibe, maybe that will sort of be a calming presence. Who knows? Fuck, man. So here's the here's the thought. There's, <laughs> I've had I've. I've you know, often, sometimes I do have, like, these small ideas for things to talk about on the radio. One of my ideas yeah. are, is, is basically you're on a desert island and you're allowed to bring some items and maybe some discs or some MP3 files to, uh, oh. to listen to some songs. <laughs> yeah. So... You know, there's no, there's no escape from the islands. You know, it's looking quite bleak out there, so you, you might you know, have some songs. What would you call the? What would you call this game? Probably um, MP3 file breakaway. Something nice. Like that. I'll, I'll work on the name. Maybe like um, beach music. You know, like um, like. Uh... Lonely, lonely island um, songs. Yeah, songs to listen to while you're on a desert island, probably. Yeah. Yeah, when you've Pref- got no Wi-Fi. <laughs> Preferably on a disc. Well, no CD player, so that's that's quite silly. Uh, uh. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that. 
wouldn't bring any discs to a desert island <laughs> unless you wanted to sort of um you know bounce the sun rays into like uh some wood i think they're extremely useful yeah yeah they're good for that or maybe like frisbeeing at a seagull so you could um you can get food for the yeah. next day you know slicing it in half that's the crucial thing oh if, if you were to bring a disc to a desert island yeah yeah um so that's idea one and we could do that and uh, idea two which um i am quite excited for is guess how many pieces of or how many segments of orange is is in the satsuma all oh, right have you got one to hand i've literally got one in my hand is it all peeled and ready to go it's not peeled it's unpeeled i feel that's crucial <laughs> no because i thought you know but you know i i don't know i think i think the way we would do this is uh we'd both lock in our answers play a song and then i'm, I'm unpeeling and counting right now you know I think the tendency is to say an even number. I'm going to say... <laughs> Wait, what, what, what? The tendency? For, for the... Yeah. <laughs> the previous, pre previous errors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fair. That's fair. I, I'd say... Um, I don't want to go too high. Mm. But, you know... I'm going to say uh, seven. <sighs> okay. I feel like I've got an advantage here because I've got the physical object in my hand and that, that sounds a little bit low to me. But, oh, shit. But, you know what? I'm going to take a picture of it and, and send it over to you. You're listening to Ask FM when I'm taking a picture of an orange. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned to find out how many segments it has. I mean, I should. I'm gonna to have to describe it to the listeners. So I'd describe it as sort of a, you know, light red, circular shape. It's quite shiny. I'm gonna go for sixteen, and I know what you think. You're you think I've made an error in going even, but I think it's sixteen. And this is not a tampered with orange. Hello? Okay, Sean seems to have... I'm going to say 11. Okay. I'm going to say it. <laughs> He's gone for 11. Okay. Here is a song. This is Charlie by the Prodigy. Woo! I'm going to leave the mics up for this one. Cool. Yeah. We're going to leave it up. Yeah, yeah. You know. See if we deal with it. The We're pee talking pee over the top. Look, if you've made it this far into the Oscar Tower. Please tell your mummy before you go off somewhere. Okay. I mean, We're getting loose. You're in, you're in the orange. I'm in the orange. It's <laughs> quite a good orange counting. One. Two. Three. Four. That's looking good. Yeah. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. There's nine segments in this orange. See, I told you. I told you. I think I, told I, you. I think I swayed you there. Hey, man, I still said 11. I still, I kept to my principles, but you did, you talked me up. You talked me up, I'm upset. Yeah. Yeah. But I, That's impressive. don't make a mistake. I'm thinking everything is balanced and equal. Yeah, also, yeah. you're right, it is an odd number. People are very tempted yeah. to go up to go even. Yeah, because they're like, you know, there's, you've got to have even amounts of everything, don't you? 
That's what they're always saying. They're like, oh, yeah, that, you know, you got to have an even amount of, you know, apples in a bag. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. When you buy when you buy a bag of apples and it's just five apples, that's not gonna last a week. They're always square. You know the, the container, yeah. the apple containers. Are they? The apple yeah, containers. It's always like what? a two two formation. When you buy an apples from the shop. They come in a bag, no? Nah. You can get like, you know, four Granny Smiths and they come in like a similar to like an egg carton without the sort of oh, close right, top. right, right. Nah, but if you're getting apples in the bag, it's always like minimum five. And then it's usually just five. When you say bag, do you mean like bag for life? No, no, no. Just like a, they come in a little poly thing bag. A clear, clear bag, so you know what yeah, you're getting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, nobody's going to the shop saying, oh, can I have 16 carrots? No, they get a kilo of carrots. Yeah. Maybe that comes out even. I mean, big carrots, small carrots, what are we talking? I think it's rare yeah, to see baby carrots at the sea these days. Baby carrots, they go down. They're, you know what, good riddance, because I'm not a fan of them. They're not particularly... I don't see the hype in small carrots. I mean, they're not for you. They're literally for babies, so you know, <laughs> no, you're, you're not showing, no, you're not you impressing know anyone. No, you know what? I, I I don't like those. I don't like baby carrots. What am I a fucking? Charlie says, "Go away, little kid." No, you. I I thought you meant just any small carrot, no, like like those like the fancy ones. Yeah, I I sort of am. You know, but it's classic baby carrots. You know the. Sort of small, look like a carrot. Yeah, yeah, but they they usually cost more. But oh. I, I don't really see you know see them being worth it. You know what I'm saying? No, they definitely are. In fact, I can't think of a good dish to put a baby carrot in that wouldn't. Yeah, because you know. if you're getting them, you're getting them for their quality as as tiny carrot. You're not going to grate them up because you just grate a big carrot. Yeah, you're not grating them up. Nah, that's so up. quick. You'd be you'd be a fool if you did. You know what annoys me? Fucking not the act of cooking, but the act of like following uh, instructions. Oh uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah like... but I think I think sometimes you just gotta give in and you know you do it because because a lot of the time it does it does come out better. You just gotta give in and like throw in the fucking basil, and like put in the garlic, you know, and like mm. cook it and onions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tomato, passata, <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> I just feel like they're all the same. It's like there's there's only one recipe. Right, yeah. Everything starts with chopping an onion, and yeah. sw- sweating it, and then getting your garlic and your chili and your ginger. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Maybe There's that's like. Maybe that's why and, I'm pissed but you off still about have baby to carrots. Read it. I know. Yeah, you still have to read those steps. If even though it's like, what well, you know. Yeah. When am I doing something cool and different, like blending an egg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, was like, let's get some uses for the shell. Yeah, um, I want to use the whole egg. Yeah, it's a whole waste of an egg. Yeah. Oh, the inside. The oh, the inside of an egg. No, I don't use that. I use the outside. Yeah, you know what else they should come up with the use for the the peel of a banana. Mm. Apart from playing, you know, mischievous tricks on people. Yeah, apart from assassination attempts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they they will come up with something better. But maybe that's the sort of key. Maybe it could be using like um toboggan toboggan rides. <laughs> yeah, just like a little um, you know slip banana a banana slip 
Right, yeah. I'll tell you what, that could change uh, the curling scene. <laughs> if 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 they would what if they just had banana peels all over the floor. Oh, in, instead of it being on is it on ice or is it on like um like hallway floor? Anyway, if it was yeah, just all like... banana peel, all banana skin, I feel that could be quite good. Mm. Uh, and and it's time. Chelsea with a 3-0 dominant win. Good performance by Chelsea. They really needed that one. Um, and yeah. yeah, they made it look they made it look all right. They made it look pretty easy, I think. Or they made, you know, they showed they they showed good stuff in the attack and they also, you know, they didn't look too shaky in defense either, which was you know, a big improvement from the West Ham game. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. Because they looked like they were getting bullied out there, but you know what? They stood up to to them to the Luton boys. I mean, I'm sure the Chelsea fans in the Stamford Bridge Arena right now are thinking this is the start of the season. Forget the other, <laughs> forget the first two games. This is the start. Shit, man. Games against a newly promoted scene. You know, people people love that. Yeah, and they did it. They did it. They kept Ross Barkley quiet. Tim Crow cool. stayed was, on the he bench. He was a big, he was a big headache coming into this game. Like I can, I can guarantee you. I bet a good ten to fifteen seconds of that team talk was spent prior to the game was spent talking about how to deal with Ross Barkley. Yeah. Like, oh, what are we can do about Ross Barkley? So I'll probably just sort of let him just do his <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think it went more like, so lads, as some of you may or may not be aware, because most of you have come in the last past season, <laughs> last season anyway, um, we've got a former Chelsea player, Ross Barkley, on their team. Uh, does anyone know who he is? Obviously, pretty much everyone says no. Mm. And he's like, well, he used to play for us. <laughs> anyway, this is our this is our corner strategy. <laughs> yeah, like a proper footnote, just like yeah, all right. <laughs> don't need to know. Shit, dog. Yeah, yeah, man, that was the game. Impressive, impressive. Yeah. So let's say you are sort sort of on sort of abandoned an abandoned island. Mm-hmm. Are you are you taking like, are you taking a MP3 player? Or are you taking discs, or are you taking like vinyl, or cassettes? I'm taking a drum. I'm taking flipping drums, man. Drums. <laughs> well, like a whole set, like hi hats and. Yeah, drums. I'll take a whole set. I'll take a piano. Take a little keyboard, a little Yamaha keyboard, <laughs> a little Korg. <laughs> Korg. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna make like prodigy tunes. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll just make like Pharrell beats using like the the, the default uh, sounds on the piano, on the wow. keyboard. You know, that's how he made them. Um, I think grinding clips, grinding. But apparently, that's they made the beat just by playing, like selecting one of the, um, just like drum sounds on one of those core keyboards and just playing it because it's such a simple beat. Mm. Yeah. I maybe think... we'll um, maybe we'll play that for the listeners. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Let's get them in the get them in the flow of it. What was it called again? Grind. Grinding by Clips. Yeah, I hear you. This is Grinding by Clips. Yo, yo. I go by the name. I'm a for real. I'm the Neptunes. And I just want to let y'all know. I'm your push. The world is about to feel something. They I'm never felt before. Come on. From ghetto to ghetto, the backyard to yard, I sell it with one whip and soft to hard. I'm the neighborhood pusher, call me subwoofer, cause I pump bass like that jack on the off the track. I'm heavy cuz, ball to your fathers, you can duck to the Fetty Gov. Sorry my love, but I'm seeing through these eyes. Benz convoys with the wagon on the side. Only big boys keep deuces on the ride. Gucci Chuck Taylor with the dragon on the side. Man, I make a buck, why scram? I'm trying to show y'all who the fuck I am. 
Jews is flirting. Be damned if I'm hurting. Legend in two games like I'm Pee Wee Kirkland. Platinum on the block with consistent hits. While Pharrell keep talking this music shit. Six with me in the cockpit, grinding cousin. I got holes for a dozen, even 11.5. If I see you, keep it coming in my weight. That's just as heavy as my name. So much dough, I can't swear I won't change. Excuse me if my wealth got me full of myself. Cocky something that I just can't help. Especially when them 20s are spinning like windmills. And the ice 32 below minus the wind chill. Filthy, the word that best defines me. I'm just grinding, man. Y'all never mind me. That was uh, Grandin by. Who was it by? Clips? Yo, oh, yo. yeah. Produced by Pharrell and the Neptunes. P. Wow, a to the A R E double L. Yeah, that was, that that was, was impressive. Era. You know what song that also <laughs> happened with? Clint Eastwood by Gorillaz. Oh yeah, it was a preset. It was like the Rock One preset on some dusty old no keyboard. Way. Yeah, and then they the the little doom do 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 do. Oh shit! Wait on that. No, that's that's feel good. Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Is, uh, that... boom, oh shit! Boom, sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Oh right, right. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you. I get you. My yeah. bad. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's kind yeah, of see... ridiculous. I, but I love I, that's the kind of shit I like. You know, just creative use. You know, if it's already there, you don't need to do too much. Why? Why makes it harder for yourself? I think it depends on how much like love went into making the preset in the first place. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Nah, there were some funny presets. <laughs> Back in the day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> where? Where? What were they? On on the keyboards. On, they were like, some of them were just voices of people. They oh, were yeah. like... <gasps> oh, yeah. Are we talking DJ yeah. mode? And different, yeah. No, oh, like, yeah. is that what it is? Wait, give me... Set the scene. So, like, you got your keyboard and you can select. They've got mad buttons to select, like, guitar, organ, uh, drum. Yeah. And obviously, it's following the pitch and, like, the scale of the keyboard, which makes sense if you're, like, on a guitar preset because you're still playing the same notes. But then it gets really it gets really loopy when you select, like, a, a uh, flipping hip-hop voice one. And it's just like a guy going like, hur, 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 in like different pitches. It's it's real cool. Bro, imagine inventing a piano and then just hearing that shit. You'd be <laughs> fucking pissed. <laughs> we we had a very similar setup. It was music lessons, you know. Got keyboard out, and then there yeah, was like yeah. a sort of button that had like some decks. and there was like DJ mode, and every key corresponded to like a different sort of sound and yeah there was some like scratches in there there was some like as you yeah say. exactly that was it maybe that was just dj mode there was one that i really remember it was like Gamma! <laughs> yeah yeah it would be a whole word but like as a sound what is your so like you Sorry, I'm what? Tr- sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm on youtube and uh, i would left it up on shorts i'm trying to find like what we're talking about yeah, for the people at home and across the world. Piano DJ button. Oh, this and could that, be. I mean, God, if someone could, could have had like a recording start in some of those music lessons. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it. God, we were cooking. We were cooking with yeah, it, it, it clip. I know if, this team. Yeah. If Pharrell <laughs> could make that, he came up with that, and that was a hit. We were we was making that every day. In class. <laughs> That's the one, DJ. <laughs> Look, in twenty years, somebody's gonna find that keyboard and gonna be like, "Oh wow." That's that's genius. I'm gonna use that in my like in my new song. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> DJ. Uh, I love um. Yeah. I mean, no. It's already like um. It's already like you know all that trapaholics like beat tag stuff. It's mm-hmm. kind of become um cool again with like underground music they got all the fancy messed up dj tags yeah they got dj scream you know dj scream on the on the cheap cheap mix tapes back in the day I all of that stuff. A, uh fucking jpeg jpeg mafia's like uh it's the um you think you know me yeah man that's what yeah. edge is fucking uh ring walk from who? Edge. He was a WWE. Oh wrestler. shit! Yeah, that's how his like theme tune started. So good. Yeah. Oh, so shit. good. Damn. Maybe I should I should check that out. I just but, got, um. I got nine segments. <laughs> on the side. <laughs> oh, on the laptop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I was just looking at the looking at the segments. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've heard some, I don't know, I've heard some some fun, um, you know, that new, uh, what's it called, DJ Smokey, he's got, he's got, um, he's got some big producer tags recently that have popped off. Have you, have you heard a song with like, um, legalized nuclear bombs recently? No. That's been, that's, um, that's a, apparently that's been blown up. Legalizing DJ Smokey. Yeah. Where's he from? Oh, he he he's been around for a while. He he did like um, he was doing like funk, 
like remixes for like back in the day, like Space Ghost Perp days. Shit. But he's been around for a while, but he's gone big again off that nuke, nuke stuff. That's been on TikTok and everything. Shit, man. I thought with DJ Smokey. Smokey, drums, screw, the DJs. DJs. DJ DJ. DJ Desert Island Discs. Four. DJ Gusto. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking man. People, everyone's DJing these days. DJ Dog. DJ Oscar fan. I know, we're just a couple of DJs just disc jockeying about. <laughs> disc jockey. They're Damn. so lucky the two letters D and J sound cool because yeah, if they, if they did a long way from what that originally meant. A that's disc for sure. jockey. <laughs> what? A, a jockey, which is like the least cool athlete, and then a disc. I mean, we've been through discs already on this show, but yeah, they're, they're not even used for what they're meant to be used They used to scare birds. Maybe like, uh, maybe like the new ones, like Wav Rider or MP, um, MP3 user, MP3 magician. Mm. MPG or like, <laughs> or like um, music mixer. Whoa, MM. I'm MM. A, I'm a music mixer. <laughs> it sounds a bit translated. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like that's the literal translation of DJ from Italian. Yeah, exactly. Fed, fed back into the system. Mm, shit dog I think I've got I think I've got one more song I want to play yeah I think yeah I think we can do you want to wrap it up after that yeah I think so do you have any yeah. do you have any closing comments because I'll probably just end it after the song um I think uh yeah I, th- I hope everyone enjoyed you know football's back you know I know the season started two weeks ago, but football's back. We had to um, leave it a little bit of time just to see if it was back properly. Yeah, for real, for real. Because, um, cause, you know, after... I know everyone was pissed that Man City won everything. Mm. Everyone was pissed. Yeah. Especially the Oscar yeah. FM listeners. You should have seen yeah. the comments. Uh, not again. Like, but... Um, Trust me, football will be fun. There's some fun stuff happening this season. Yeah. I think I think as long as Adama Chore is still in the league, football football's alive. Look, all we need is a bit of magic. We need a couple of people to say some stuff and a couple of people to listen. And that's yeah. that's what you've done. And speaking of listening, thank you for doing that. And this is Kitchen by Ceramic. That was Oscar Femme 2 2. Desmond. Oh, Desmond.